So this is um, the chapter six, homework six, numbers number five. So for this problem, we need to do use the theorem that's quoted in the directions. So we'll start with f of g of x. So in this idea, we're going to take this function g of x and plug it into the x's in f of x. So I'm going to have 3 times g of x plus 2 over 5 times g of x minus 3. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply through. So that's going to be 9x plus 6 over 5x minus 3 plus 2. Well, I'm also going to actually at the same time, I'm going to make a common denominator, which would just be 5x minus 3. So when I multiply the 2 through, I'm also going to have plus 10x minus 6 over 5x minus 3. And I'm going to do the same thing in the denominator. Again, I'm going to make a common denominator, just 5x minus 3. So that's going to be 15x plus 6 over um, 5x minus 3 minus um, 15x minus 9 over 5x minus 3. Okay. And if I make a com, or if I add my numerators together, that's going to give me 19x in my numerator over 5x minus 3. In my denominator, 15x minus 15x is 0. 6 minus a negative 9 is 15. Oh, shoot. Hold on a second here, folks. Uh, 5 times 2 isn't 6, it's 10. So 10 minus a negative 9 is 19. Okay, and then to divide fractions, I'm just going to multiply by the reciprocal of the denominator. Which is just equal to x. Right? 19 cancels 19, and 5x minus 3 cancels 9x minus 3, and then we're left to just the x. g of x is the same. Since f of x and g of x are identical, there's nothing really more to do there. You really only need to show it one way on that one because f of x and g of x are identical problems. So that's not common. But it's the case in this situation, so there's nothing, there's no other side to do.